Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Stellaris. So here's what it's looking like in the galactic sense of things. Now, I've been, I've, I've done a few things in between episodes, not not much. I have sort of cleaned up the the issue with the faction. So I've spent quite a bit of influence to get them down to zero support. I, I have a better understanding of how this works now. So they've got a, you know, a percent chance to increase support per month. So, like right here it says, chance to gain 10% support per month is 5.1%. So they have a 5% chance to gain 10% support per month. Then you can use the various things here to reduce that. I've done a lot of suppressed media um, to get it down to nothing. So it's cost me quite a bit of influence, but we're starting to make headway. And then on the planet itself, there's a 5% chance that they'll destroy a building, which... Hasn't been that big a deal, I just keep repairing them when they do. Um, they're still not happy, but I have built the, a garden there. Um, and a couple of other things to try to improve it somewhat. But I think I've decided I'm just I'm not going to invest any more in this right now. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's worth it, quite frankly. Eventually, they'll get happier. They're not going to be happy just based on their, um, just based on their sort of makeup, right? They're just, you know, they're just not happy campers. So, that's fine. So, we'll just give them time. Now, because I don't really want to go to war over here anymore, I was like, well, I've got these standing transports and I just got access to cruisers. So, I upgraded to a level five um, level five spaceport here so we can actually build cruisers now so we'll design one here in a moment um, but I thought okay well if we're gonna start building cruisers and we've got plenty of minerals so we could build a bunch of them and really beef it up if we're gonna do that we need a target so I found these guys down here these poor guys only have one planet that's their whole deal <laughs> so I thought okay in terms of like progression overall, why don't we try sniping some of these little guys out? So I built sort of a forward base here, where I have stationed the military. Let me go ahead and unpause. Where I've, uh, I've stationed the military, and then um, I've basically just set this up as sort of an extender, right? So now we can reach out into this area, and I check these guys out, and they've got two friends. Um, they've got these guys and these guys, I believe. Yeah, they're allies with them. Um, and these gents actually... Uh, nope, they're not superior. One of them is got superior tech to us. Let me see, is it, is it you? Yeah, so they've got superior fleet power and technology level. So my thought was, well, if I can pounce on these guys really fast, right? If I can pounce on them really fast, maybe their allies won't respond fast enough for me to get, get rid of them. We'll see, but that's what I'm going to try to do in this one. This seems like something, you know, kind of fun to do. Okay. Oh, we revealed the resource. Okay. Uh, basic fighter wing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow, 4,000 research. Wow. You know what? I think we'll go for Ion Thruster instead. Something a little, a little bit more reasonable cost-wise. Uh, I have optimized the factions. Or, not, excuse me, not factions, but sectors as well. So I think I've got that pretty much situated now. Um, and I changed how much they're giving me. Like, this one's giving me 75% because they don't really need it. They've got plenty of extra resources. And then this one's only giving me 50, and they have just enough of what they need to survive, essentially. Yep, so we've got that sector up there. And then the other one back over here. Okay, let's unpause. Let's go ahead and build some more ships. I guess we should design... ...a cruiser. That should be fun. Oh, here, let's get rid of that. Uh, 
Okay, so... Oh, three sections on this one. Interesting. Okay, so weapon slots on this one. On this one, too. Hmm. What's that? Is that huge weapon slot? Oh, I guess. I it never even occurred to me. I've never seen that before. Well, I don't have any weapons that fall in that class yet, so... Let's go with this core, so that we get one large, one medium. Yeah, so we'll grab that as the middle section. Front section... Yeah, let's go with large there, and then back here. Protector seems reasonable. Okay, so we'll grab kinetic battery, kinetic battery, and we'll grab our railgun for here and here. Okay, now we've got actual shields, right. Okay, so let's go with shields, shields, shields. We're probably not going to be able to put enough power on here to cover this, but we can try. Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, so get rid of that. Are we only going to be able to have, like, one shield value? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, what if I got rid of that and added a small deflector? We need better power supplies. Yeah. Okay, this can be the Cutlass, I guess. Oh, it's, it's definitely pricey. Definitely pricey. Yeah, well, I guess build a bunch of them. Go back up to fast. I mean, I could start the war without them, but I don't think that's a great idea. Yeah, let's go get healed up real quick at a buddy's base. Oh, something else that I found kind of on accident, um, and I don't think it works if you don't have a leader assigned, which I currently don't. Matter of fact, let me get another one right now. But you can take a science ship and have it um, assist research over a planet, which is kind of cool if you don't have anything for your science ship to do at the time. Alright, let's grab her. She can be the commander for this ship. Yeah, that works. And do I actually have anything for her to do right now? I think I shared charts with all the- oh, here we go. Survey. Survey says. Go. Survey all this stuff for me. That whose space is that in? Oh, it's in our buddy's space. Do we have that resource anywhere? Yeah, we do. We picked up one right here. Nice. So 
uh, we can't build something here. Oh, it says we already have it. Okay. Yeah, we've already got a mining station there. Nice. So we've got that stone. Is that better than the... Um, I had this in a, in a... The first time I played, I had access to this resource. And you could build a better... Um, power generation. It was, you know, for energy income. But I, I don't know if that's better than what I have. You really need a governor? Not really. No, you have a sector governor. You don't need a governor. Should have taken him out of there already. Oh, okay, hold on now. We have to suppress media again. Need to go somewhere and see if maybe a planet that's got less stuff built. I just want to see if that uh, special resource is that special as you move on in the game. Early in the game, it's really strong because it gives you like a I don't know. I think it's six energy credits. All right, let's just see here. Yeah, produces six energy credits. So it it's good, but it's it's not that great at this point because we already have we're what we're up to power plant three, I think, which does basically the same thing. I mean, it's not bad. Doesn't require a planetary capital, though. And it produces... One more. Hmm. So it's still good, I guess. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see. Let's build a basic science lab here, since we're here anyway. How's your food situation? Could be better. Paradise Dome. Oh, I forgot I had that. I can't build that on that world I took over. Hmm. Let's go check that out real quick. Can I... I, I said earlier I'm not going to invest anymore in this place. Forget about it. But, yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm stubborn. What if we replaced... Yeah, what if we replaced this... Okay, repairs are complete. Head back down here. Three seventy five by itself, huh? That's pretty beefy.
Looks pretty cool. Look at all those guns. Wow. That's kind of impressive. And we get the new shields on there, too. 325 shields, 12 armor points. 1200 hull points, that's pretty good. Building was ruined, huh? Which building did you guys ruin now, you bastards? There we go, repair that. So the whole taking over a place, yeah. That takes a little while, doesn't it? Well, not so much just taking it over as it is, like, getting them to not, you know, destroy stuff. Who do they want to go to war on? Which is to declare war against the combined military. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to vote no on that, because I actually have a different target. Okay, new research. Robotic army? Oh, upgrade, huh? Defense platform. Let's grab defense platform. I've actually wanted that for a while. Gained a level? Okay, nice. See, like, this would be a good example of where you could put a science ship or might have an actual decent impact. Put it above a world like this, it's got a lot of science modifiers. Yeah. But, let's see, what can we do here? We get a science. Grab an engineering facility here. Upgrade to power plant two. I think we're pretty much done with upgrades here. We have a planetary capital here yet? Okay, so we need to do that. But otherwise, this is pretty set. Let's go ahead and upgrade your spaceport then. It's a big investment, but I want another place where I can build the large craft. I'm gonna have to just be waiting on one spaceport to produce cruisers. Plus, redundancy is just a good idea on certain things, I think. <laughs> Soundtrack in this game is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty much amazing sauce. Pretty much amazing sauce. Yeah, I can see why everybody wants to go after these guys. They are kind of scumbags. Yeah, fanatical purifiers. It'd be kind of fun to play a race like that, actually. Just like, I'm gonna go eat everyone's face off. It's like, all right. <laughs> they kind of look that way too, right? Pretty funny. They're funny looking dudes. Do. Ironically, these guys were not even like, don't even really have that bad of opinion of us, we could probably build a relationship with them, it's just... It's just, this is like an easy target, so I figure I might as well go for it. It should help with, like, the overall, like, victory, right? That's kind of my thought process, anyway. Yeah, um, 40%. Yeah, we own 11 out of the 127 planets required. <laughs> for domination victory. Oh, man. Construction complete.
Oh, first contact. Oh, these guys are cool looking. Beautiful creatures. Know that we roam the stars eons before your hapless species mastered spaceflight. Oh. Alright. Well, we'll just say peace be with you for now. Thanks for the threat. And let's go look at these guys. Oh my! Overwhelming, overwhelming, overwhelming. Holy crap, where are these guys at? Down here? Ooh, they're, they're quite scary. Okay, well... Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's see here. Let's see if we can't, uh, play nice here. Yeah, communicate. Establish an embassy. Yep. Do not want those guys pissed off at us. Huh. This fallen empire considers us largely beneath their notice. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good, yeah. You just ignore us while we proceed to do war near you, but not with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Construction complete. Oh, we can upgrade the planetary administration. I don't think I'm going to here, though. No. However... Wait, how's our faction thing doing? Suppress them again. That's the problem, I keep spending all my influence on that instead of being able to do buildings like, you know, like planetary capitals and whatnot, which would be nice to have. Some of those other worlds. Oh, what do we have here? Habitable world, huh? Research complete. Oh, you're decent. Construction complete. Okay, well, we could go ahead and grab that. Let's go to Earth here. Um, actually, who else could build it? We got a spaceport. Yeah. Build a colony ship, please. Anything else over there? Worth colonizing? Who died? Oh! My leader died! Okay, so... We've got Champion of the People plus 10% happiness and minus 20% Corvette cost. Oh, that's cool, that's right, I forgot about that, that my heir had this plus 10% happiness. That's really cool. Yeah, that works. I am perfectly fine with that. Ooh, auto cannon. It seems good, but it doesn't seem as good as that kinetic one that I have, that large kinetic. Let's go for deep space stations. System survey complete.
Okay. Got a new error. Frontier Spirit. Fertility Preacher. Eh, he's okay. Construction complete. Construction complete. Merge up. 2800. Oh, destroyed another building. You scumbags. Guys, any happier than you were? Yeah, they're up to 34%. They were at 9%, so it's getting better, kind of. Sort of. <laughs> Ever so slowly, we take a step forward. Like, this guy's up to 64%. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Might actually eventually be a decent place. What do you know? I'm going to maintain direct control, I think, too, of this system, if for no other reason, because it's kind of a, I don't know, just convenient, I guess? Because I can eventually build up the spaceport and everything here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do an initial spaceport. Because these are both places we're going to go to war again, right? We're going to fight these guys again, and we're going to fight these dudes over here, so... Presence of Premier Life on by Pelar. Here to be in later stages of the Bronze Age. Who should consider building an observation post above the world? Um, yeah, okay. System survey complete. Not within our borders. Oh. Huh. Well, we can fix that, potentially. And we take this. You know, where is that colony ship? Almost done. Construction complete. Society research. Leader lifespan plus 10 years, plus 10% food? Mmm. That's nice, but a plus one monthly influence would be great, too. Upgrades government form to a more advanced version. Unlocks Empire Capital Complex. Wow, look at that. Oh, and it produces a monthly influence. The building itself. All right, let's go for that. It's a big research project, but that's probably worth it. A colony ship, you're going here. We'll have to form another sector. That's not, this is probably not something I'm going to want to control directly. I think we've got enough firepower to do this. Again, I'm kind of hoping for like overwhelming force here. Like we just go in and smash their face. All right, let's declare war. Mm. 
Really? I can't just go to war by myself? Construction complete. Okay, so that's how we get them. We suggest demands and they say what they want. Right. Okay, hold on. We'll deal with you in a second. Let's pause it. I want... Here, let me redo this. Sorry, I'm not super experienced at this part yet, so I'm working on it. Okay, so let's declare war, and then let's set what we want. And what we want is... What's that thing called? Darakun. Oh, right, I grab it and move it over. Yeah, I want Darakun. And they'll vote for that and we don't have to do anything else? Okay, I actually, that seems fine. Why grab anything else? Let's just make it easy. We could liberate some stuff? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to do that. Yeah, they'll vote yes. Okay, well, let's do it then. We're now at war. Okay, so go back up here. Let's send the second fleet down. They can hang out with the transports. Send the rest of it right there. And I think this is where we're going to have to leave it off, folks. What, Mal? No! Yeah, we'll come back and uh, try to smash these guys into oblivion in the next one. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.